it's Tanya Cogdill with Living the Carolinas with Tanya at Remax Executive. I'm here with my all-time favorite, highly recommended insurance guy, Joe Lane. And he is with Pruitt Keener Insurance. So today I thought we'd talk about the upcoming hurricane season and how to prepare for it. So Joe knows hurricanes and he knows insurance. So here we go. I'm going to ask him a couple questions and see what we can learn. First, Joe, when is hurricane season? Well, it started June 1st and uh, runs through November 30th of the year, uh, throughout the year. All right. And I hear today that we are going to be expecting lots of hurricanes, more than usual. Yeah, on the Atlantic side, they're, they're projecting over 30 named storms. And, uh, you know, over 14 of them are going to turn into hurricanes. So what's the first thing people should do? Um, before a hurricane comes? Do you think taking pictures of their home? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, have a plan. And even if, if it's not hurricane season, being in the insurance business, um, I think everybody should have, walk around their house and take an inventory from, their, from the inside to the outside. We all have smartphones that we can walk around and just film everything in case something was to happen from a hurricane or a you know, windstorm, somebody breaks in and steals something. That's a good idea, yeah. And you have to, uh, you know, show the insurance carrier what you had or prove it. And, you know, if you had a fire, we get to, you know, fires come up, you know, that's probably one of the worst days of your life. And you're not going to remember everything that was in the living room or even in your den area. So, you know, spend a few minutes, walk around your house with your smartphone, film it. You already, you don't have to do anything because it's in an iCloud. So just, uh, and if something was to happen, you can turn it over to the claims adjuster and say, this is what I've lost. That's a great idea. Is it a good idea to also reach out to your insurance person and make sure you're covered and what your coverage is so you're not blindsided if, if a tragedy does happen? Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, one thing, I've been doing this 20 years, and uh, I call it personal insurance. You should have a personal relationship with your agent. You know, get to know them so they know you and everything. But... Um, Different different houses have different policies, so you should spend the time because it is your biggest investment to understand your policy. Sit down and have a review with your insurance agent and just ask questions about what ifs. What if a what if a hurricane comes through? What if I have a fire? You know, what if my house got broken into? The what ifs and. Uh, just spend the time and develop that relationship with your agent. Great. Um, evacuation routes. I think we need to talk to our family and find out what the evacuation routes are and also assign roles to people. Who's going to take the animals? Who's going to pick up the stuff and where are we going to meet? Are those good things to talk oh, about? Oh, every, yes. I mean, for instance, you know, I live in a two story house and, uh, my kids are upstairs. Our master bath, our bedroom is, you know, on the first floor. We talk, you know, my son, I tell him, said, you know, if something was to happen, you know, we have a plan at the house. We have right. a ladder in his bedroom. It's just a fold up ladder. It drops down that he knows to go get to help the girl or help the girls get out of the house and stuff like that. Just with a nice plan to evacuation or have a meetup plan. Yep, yeah, that that's great because some of us are going to be at work or school. Mm -hmm. We don't know where that when that evacuation is going to come in. So, and another thing is to think about your evacuation. And when they tell you to evacuate, evacuate. We don't want to come looking for you. So please take heed and evacuate. One thing I learned the other day was the ASPCA has free stickers that you can go online and order them and put them on the windows so in case of that fire and you're not home the firemen or the neighbors will know that there's animals inside so and also speaking of animals make sure that you have a lot of things for them their dog their food a litter box a blanket 
uh, extra collar, lots of stuff to take oh, care of them. They're and, animals. And, you know, they're they're part of your family. Yep. And you want, you know, we try to keep about three days worth of food, you know, for or water and, you know, batteries in the, in the flashlights and stuff like that. But one thing, you know, I'm at work, Wendy's at work, the kids are at school. If something was to happen, we also have a master key password. So if something was to happen to me and somebody went to pick up my kids, I talk to my kids, you know, if it's a stranger, don't get in the car with them. But if this, you know, if it's a coworker goes to pick up, I ask to go pick up my kids. He, there is a master password that he can pa tell my kids that they know, hey, dad has sent this gentleman or his coworker to pick me up. Great information. I really like that. It keeps everyone in the family safe. And when we do have a plan, we don't stress as much. So I hope you found this information valuable. If you need any more information or need a quote from Joe, let me know. We'll pass along the information to you. So until next time, have a good day. Bye.